first of all you mark the first day of your period which is when you start bleeding then you mark the first day of your next period then uh wait wait let me see no you count the number of days between the start of each period why don't we just ask your sister she's a peer educator mm, i i guess we can go and ask her Hey gang, how can I be of service today? Hi Nia. We were wondering, is there a foolproof method of determining safe days? Safe days, huh? You mean days when you're least likely to get pregnant? If the stages of a menstrual cycle can be tracked, then surely there must be a foolproof way to know, right? <laughs> well, professor, <laughs> it's a little bit more complicated than that when it comes to menstrual cycles. When someone gets their period, it can change from month to month and throughout their life, and it is not the same for everyone who menstruates. The menstrual cycle is a series of changes a woman's body goes through in preparation for a possible pregnancy. It begins with menstruation, which is considered day 1 of the cycle. Menstruation is the shedding of the lining of the uterus. It continues with an increase in the hormone estrogen and the lining of the uterus becomes thick and spongy again. An egg is released from one of the ovaries and it's called ovulation. The first day of menstruation to ovulation can be anywhere from 10 to 32 days long. It varies depending on the person's usual cycle length and the cycle. Then the egg is moved through the fallopian tube towards the uterus. If the egg is not fertilized within 24 hours, it disintegrates and is absorbed by the body. The levels of hormones such as estrogen and progesterone then drop, and usually after another 10 to 16 days, the next cycle begins and menstruation starts again. Fertilization of the egg, which leads to pregnancy, takes place after ovulation. The time when unprotected sex may potentially lead to pregnancy, also known as the fertile period, starts around 15 to 21 days before menstruation begins. Again, depending on the person and the cycle. This means that if you have a longer cycle, say 32 to 40 days, the fertile period will not be in the middle of your cycle, but later And if you have a shorter cycle, say 21 days, the fertile period will be before the middle of your cycle. Many people talk about a 28-day cycle, but most people who menstruate actually do not have a 28-day cycle. Menstrual cycles can range anywhere from 21 to 40 days, but can be longer or shorter, and they can vary even more for young teens from around 21 to 50 days. Actually, during the first 2 years of menstruation, girls often have irregular cycles or miss periods completely, and this is totally normal. So are you confused? That is a bit understandable, and it gets back to the point that it is difficult and risky to try to identify what some people would call safe days. You know, days during their menstrual cycle when they think they cannot get pregnant. Young people who menstruate risk getting pregnant if they try to figure out their so-called safe days. And don't forget, there are no safe days when it comes to STIs and HIV. It's always best to use male or female condoms to protect against unintended pregnancy and STIs, including HIV. Other modern contraceptives will only protect against pregnancy, not STIs and HIV. Imagine sperm can live for up to 5 days after sex. So especially for women with shorter cycles, it is possible to get pregnant during your period. Menstrual tracking apps, websites and other digital tools have got better at predicting when your period will come, and they also provide information about menstruation and other topics. Knowing how long your cycle is and how much it varies can help you predict when your next period will come so you can be prepared. Whether you use an app, online tool, or a paper calendar and a pen or pencil, you can start by noting the day of your first period and then the first day of your next one and count the number of days in between. If you do this every month, after a while, you may begin to see a pattern of how many days in between your periods and how long your cycle usually is. You can also track how many days you bleed per month to know what to expect and to have the menstrual hygiene products that you will need. Remember, 
it is no more especially for adolescents to have irregular periods that is where the length in between periods and the length of days of bleeding varies greatly from month to month all the more reason to get to know your own cycle wow nia thanks for all this great information I can see there is so much to learn about menstruation and it is important that boys learn this stuff too. We all need to understand what boys and girls go through when we grow up and how to keep ourselves healthy. <laughs>